Hey guys, Cabbage George here, and today I am making gems explain. I'm gonna tell you the best way to grind out gems, and I'm gonna explain every single gem to you. Let's get into it. The best way to get gems, if you're lucky enough, is waiting for a meteor to strike. I'll put an image on screen of what that looks like. Usually you can tell because it'll like shake the entire game and shit, and it'll just like, it's pretty hard to miss. And they'll spawn meteor NPCs, sometimes it'll be a meteor bandit, a meteor raider, a meteor pebble. And these have a guaranteed gem drop and can give you a Mondo ring, which allows you to fight Mondo bosses. Now, this isn't confirmed, but from what I've seen, every boss in the game has a chance to drop a gem. And when they're Mondo, that chance is amplified. Depending on how difficult the boss is, you do have higher chances of getting gems. One time I did get a gem from killing a Mondo Viperhead. And by then I killed like 20 more and never got another one. So I assume that's a pretty rare chance to occur. But if you watch Vert's video and he fights something like the Mondo Old Fart, I'm pretty sure guaranteed to drop gems. Might just have to mess around with that. I'm pretty sure Mr. Normal has like almost a guaranteed gem chance because I've killed him many times and he drops gems very often. So that's another boss where you can get gems from. Another way to get gems pretty consistently is by doing the Big Iron Trial, which I have a full length guide. I'll put an info card in the top right of the screen if you want to go watch that. But if you complete it two times in a row, you'll get like 30 iron coins. You can just go buy a gem from the Iron Guy NPC. If, I'm just going to show you the location where it is right now. If it doesn't let you activate it by standing on a pressure plate in the middle of the thing, you need to go watch my guide to figure out how to do that. Now, I'm not 100% sure about this one, but I'm pretty sure if you get 100 plus points in the Skygrounds Battle Arena, you're guaranteed to get a gem. Because I got the Wave 40, which just said I have 84, but then when I got the Wave 47, I got bullshitted and fucking died. It was really annoying. But I've still got a magic gem from that, so I assume I had somewhere from 100... 120 range, I don't really know for a fact, but I assume if you get to that point, you can consistently get gems doing that. Now, the last method I know of for grinding gems is by fishing, which me personally, I don't fish because I'm not a loser. I'm not a geek. I'm not a nerd. I don't sit down fishing in video games, but there are people who like macro fishing and wake up with 30,000 golds and tons of gems. I don't really dabble in all that, but I'm going to show you guys where you can buy the fishing stuff if you don't want to be a nerd and a geek and a loser. Now I'm going to tell you what all the gems in Pilgrim do. Now me personally, I don't think the frost gem is that good. I've tried using it on a buster sword. There's probably some tech that you can do with like an ice fire build since you have the ice crown. Instead of proccing chill, you do proc the ice fire. But me personally, I don't think it's that good. Now there's a lot of stuff in this game that you can use the explosion gem with. Like anything that multi-hits a lot, you can definitely spam that and just get some crazy explosion procs on. But honestly, I don't think it's that amazing. But there's definitely some builds where it can be good. They can be on the anchor build or something. Now, the light gem is all around a good gem. You can just find any weapon. It'll obviously just make it better because you'll swing faster or your startup will be faster. So light gem is definitely an S tier gem. Now, blood gem is not for S tier gem in my opinion because life steal is so important in this game. You either need a rally ace or you need some kind of life steal. So you just need to be constantly healing with how much damage enemies do in this game. And the fact that it increases damage also on your ranged weapons just makes it amazing. Now, Charm Gem can be very good on specific builds. Because like the main cudgel, where it gets increased, already gets increased critical damage, or Mason on a Tonta has increased crit chance. Charm Gem is not one of the best, but it can be the best on certain builds. Now, Magic Gem just seems shit in my opinion. Like, I don't know, maybe there's some hidden tech I don't know about. But the fact that this gets reduced, like, mana usage just doesn't seem good. It seems like dog shit. Now the fire gem could probably be really good on. Now the fire gem could probably be really good when used on specific builds, kind of like the charm gem, just because there's so much shit in this game that buffs your fire damage, so you can make a crazy build with the fire gem. Now insignia that gem definitely seems really good, reduce cooldown and range and magic weapons, or no end lag on your third M1 or your last M1. This is a really good gem. Put on a light weapon, just go insanely fast. Put on a heavy weapon, go faster than normal. This is definitely a top tier gem, but. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, cabbage or doll.